Ben, grab your key. Mm-hmm. Bell, grab your key. Got it. I've got mine. Let's all turn them at the same time and open the forbidden folder. This is where we keep all the ideas that are a little taboo for breakfast radio. Or maybe, just, yeah, maybe not appropriate. Yeah, it yeah. feels like, eh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, it's not really like a nice thing. This is not a nice thing, but mm. I think it's fascinating. 13, 24, 10. Have you been in a plane crash? Not a good one for nervous flyers. No. No. Because we, I mean, we were on a plane together the other day and there was some turbulence. And, you, you know, when it sort of, when the turbulence goes for like, Longer than I'm gonna say twenty seconds, you're like, oh man, this is it. Well, yeah, and I think it's like I mean that's everyone's worst fear, right? Like a a plane going that that would be awful, like just awful. I'm 28 now, and I can say within the last two years, for some reason, I, I've been flying more, and the more I fly, like like I've gotten way worse at flying. Yeah, I wonder. I used to be I, fine. I wonder why that is because my wife Sam's the same. It's so she weird. never used to be scared of flying, and then as she got older, she started to develop it. I think because a part of it is I listen, like I I start overthinking all the physics and the science behind it now, and I start thinking like we shouldn't be up here. How is this even up here? But then like, no, that's almost the opposite. Then the if, clouds... you do, if you do understand the physics, then it makes sense. No, because it's like when I was a kid, I was like, ah, a bit of fun. And now I'm like, right. there's nothing underneath me. How long will it take to drop? Like what what happens <laughs> wow. if one engine falls yeah. off? What if something just like how many tiny little nuts and bolts are on this plane that could be loose and we don't know? And what if the pilot's I'm more worried about where the, cool? I'm more worried about where the drinks cart is. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, how far away is that See, I want to be like that. I just Mate, get, the, I get the cookie s- cart missed me the other day. I couldn't what? believe it. Yeah. yeah, Liam. And I, my Liam bag harumphed. was my bag was too heavy, so and I had to pay fifty bucks. So I, I actually think it was an inside job, but they're like twenty seven eight and give me a cookie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was really annoyed about uh, it. My whole body now gets completely sweaty, like I'm dripping with sweat. I, my heart is racing. I feel like I'm I think throw that the up. easiest, the easiest you way to sit next to on a plane. I'm I'm horrific yeah. to sit next well, to. That's why we pick separate seats on um, work trips. <laughs> um, but I think the best way it was explained to me when I was like younger and maybe like catching a plane one of the first times like oh you've got more of a chance of having oh, an accident on care. the way to which is so true no. statistically well it is true it yeah. is true yeah. and who cares about the stack well yeah, if you're cool. worried about the plane you know no plane in australia like big plane it's never happened so don't worry yeah, about and it and guess what it's got to happen sometime no it won't it's got to happen it's sometime it's and there's fine. always yeah, some... it could also like it could also happen something happens to you right now yeah yeah but like that's right like the ceiling right could now. collapse Putting... and yeah. it could crash there's more chance that the ceiling could fall and that light fixture could hit you right now Okay, well, don't put that thought in my head. I just don't like the thought of falling. I just don't like that thought, and hmm. it scares me. Okay. Well, we are on the second floor, so no, the trust floor me, actually... could fall from below you, and you could fall down do you know, into I, I do, the shopping centre. I also regularly think about the floor collapsing whenever I'm in a building <laughs> and I'm not on the first floor. And then sometimes if there's a car park underneath <laughs> me and I'm on the first floor, then I get stressed about that too. Okay. I think I've got this, a is, this has just been a real insight into Bell's uh, <laughs> inner work. Into my anxiety, yeah. 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 No, that's, I can't stand on balconies anymore either. Given up on that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do we need to? Yeah. Okay. But we're not yeah. talking about that. We are talking <laughs> about plane crashes. Have you been in one? Mm. Now I know we're asking a lot, um, but if you have, it doesn't have to be like a physical, like actually went down. It could be like a, a scary situation as well. Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. Have you been in a plane crash? Yeah, Ash Gardner in the newsroom. You had a bit of a scary sitch, didn't you? I used to be fine with flying when I was a kid. We lived uh, overseas and we were flying home to Australia to visit family, and part of the engine fell away, and so we were down an engine and had to land in Fiji. And since then. I'm shocking. I'm Belle. I'm sitting there crying on the flight as soon as there's the tiniest bit of, of turbulence. So. But, and that's why I got two engines. <laughs> well, that, you know, uh, some have four. Yeah, so you're going to be okay. Thing. We yeah. had three yeah. other engines to fly on. So yeah. everything was fine. So it proves your point, the, mm. the chance. I mean, of... what what are the odds of four engines falling off? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Well, right. yeah. 13, 24, 10. Have you been on a plane that crashed? We've opened up the forbidden folder this morning. This is where we keep all the ideas that aren't quite right for Breakfast Radio. Maybe the boss has said no to them in the past. This is an interesting one. It's not a nice one, though. 13, 24, 10. Have you been in a plane crash? Mm. Are you alive to tell the tale? Uh, Jake in Richmond, uh, you've been in that unfortunate situation in the past. 
Yeah, I sure have. Oh, you well, sound very jolly, Jake. Yeah, oh, at least you're happy to talk about it, I suppose. Uh, tell us, Jake, tell us about what happened. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a wild ride, but um, I was uh, doing a training flight. Uh, it was my second uh, second day doing my uh, license course. Oh, so you were flying the, the small aircraft? Yeah, I was ah, flying. Okay. So, Jake, surely, and, and if it's your second day, like you would have another pilot there next to you, right? With also like yeah. with controls. Is that how it works? Yeah, I had an instructor there. Um, yeah, like I'd literally been flying for all of a total of about an hour. Yeah, so in yeah. my whole awesome. career. <laughs> awesome. So, really ready for an emergency situation, I'm sure. Like had it down past heaps of training, and <laughs> <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I had an instructor. Um, but, um, yeah, he freaked out more than I did. Oh, <laughs> so, that's not what you want. <laughs> and then um, I ended up having to put it down. <laughs> are you, so, hang on, are you serious? So there was, there was an instructor, but then you, the responsibility fell on you. Yeah, well, um, he'd been flying for, what, 30 years, um, never had an issue ever, and I don't think he, he um, oh, it freaked him out more than me. <laughs> so, Jake, talk us through what actually happened. Yeah, so we're doing touch and go, so just like landing and taking off again. And um, we've done a few of them, and I come down, touched off, took back off again. And as I'm climbing back up to, you know, uh, back up to high at 2,000 feet, uh, the engine started dropping RPM, and then it just blew up. Oh. <laughs> and, um, but we're over the bush, so there's nowhere to land. Um, tried to make it back to the runway, but weren't high enough, so... Only really have one option and to put it down into the bushes. Whoa. So, so we're, and we're um, talking, so I mean, that's like, you know, I mean, we're talking feet, but that's like 600 meters. Like in my head, I'm thinking of a 100 meter sprint, 600 meters, yeah, and that's you, how far yeah. you're plummeting. Are you dropping or are you like gliding, gliding. down? What's so the we'll, we're going pretty good for the first probably two thirds of the descent. Yeah. Um, and then coming in when you drop flaps, when you're like getting close to actually putting it down, yep. uh, got a big gust of wind and actually stalled the aircraft in the air and put it on its side oh. and then fell out of the sky sideways oh. for about the last, um, you know, sort of 300 feet. Oh. And, um, yeah, hit the first tree, yeah. the plane flipped upside down, oh ripped the back God. of the plane off, yeah. and then we cleared probably 80 metres of trees before hitting a big oak tree um, that oh. really stopped it. <laughs> so, J- Jake, I mean, <laughs> I love that you're just telling this story like it's just a, a regular, you know, day out, crashing a plane, being alive to tell the tale. Like, I mean, it's it seems like a miracle that you're here, like, talking to us on the radio. Like, tell us, like, uh, is you know, is the other pilot okay? You sound okay, but, like, what happened? Surely you must have sustained some injuries. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> probably the, the part after it was probably ended up being more known than the plane crash itself. But the instructor, he um, was quite bad, had a few bits and pieces missing and falling off, uh, but got him out of uh, out of the aircraft and then um, he come to and um, his wife just happened to be nearby and uh, rushed him off the hospital. Oh. And I was pretty lucky. I just um, broke a tibula and a, uh, the tibula and tibia plateau and then oh. like blew out my ankle and had to get a few screws. But... Um, other than that, was pretty good, but then I didn't want to wait um, the half an hour for the ambulance to show up out where we were, so I walked about 600 metres up to where my car was, yeah. uh, jumped in the car, drove an hour and a half from there all the way back to the hospital, yeah. and um, and yeah, come waddling into the to the hospital <laughs> with a uh, bit of sticks and some dirt hanging off me and a one shoe and a trail of blood <laughs> into Whoa. emergency. Oh, to an hour and a half to the hospital, Jake, because you didn't want to wait half an hour. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah, well, that's boy math. But um, <laughs> so, well, so how, what, were you, what was going through your head when you were driving for this hour and a half? Did you digest everything? Well, yeah, well like, I tend to end up in a lot of these situations where <laughs> it wasn't too far out of the ordinary. And I don't think anyone was hopefully that surprised that it would happen. If it was going to happen, it would happen wow. to me. Jake, <laughs> did, you, did you pass or fail the test? Um, no, well, if you can survive a, pl- a crash landing, I think that really ticks all the boxes. <laughs> yeah, right? true. Yeah. It's sort of like so, it's it's that get. <laughs> part of training that not a lot of people get. I guess the, yeah. my, my last question would be, did you follow through and get back in a plane and go and, go and get your license? Did you never get in a plane again? 
Yeah, no, no. I was flying commercially like a, like a week and a half later, and yeah, I'm up flying again now. Wow. Uh, <laughs> flying commercially a week well, after that's, that? That's the kind flying of, our plane? That's the kind of pilot I want. No, no, no. Someone he, was, he was in a plane flying yeah. commercially. Oh, right, yeah. So right, right. Bell just thought Jetstar gave you a job <laughs> after that. They're like, oh, you know, you know times are tough. But... Up and said, Boy, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, you were in. I get it. You're in economy. And there you go. See, nothing to worry about. Jake, he's, he, he blew his ankle out. His leg was cooked. He, he crashed and he's still fine. Jake. Jake, that is a absolutely wild story, and we thoroughly appreciate you sharing with us this morning, mate. <laughs> no worries, guys. Have a good one. Crazy. I feel like we have to get Jake on again because he said, I always find myself in these situations. I, I want to know what these other situations yeah. are. Also, probably the happiest call we've ever had. I suppose <laughs> yeah. you would be happy. You're like, I'm alive. What's, what is there possibly to be sad about?